Hello dear students. In this short video, I shall be discussing about refractive errors and understanding their glass prescriptions. I have received messages from many students saying that they have difficulty in understanding refraction. And hence, I plan to upload a series of videos on this topic, of which this is the first one. In this video, I shall be discussing the basic about refractive errors and the glass prescriptions. So let us begin by understanding what is emetropia or essentially the absence of a refractive error. Now in an emetropic eye, the parallel rays of light, that is rays of light which are coming from a distant object, after passing through the ocular refractive media are brought to focus sharply at a point on the retina. So this means that these rays which are coming from a distant object after passing through the eye they are brought to focus at a point on the retina and hence the patient experiences clear vision. Now, if these rays of light after passing through the ocular refractive media are not brought to focus sharply at a point on the retina, then this would mean a refractive error. So, let us see what are the possible errors of refraction. Let us begin with simple myopia. Now, what is simple myopia? Simple myopia means that rays of light coming from a distant object, that is parallel rays of light, after passing through the ocular refractive media, are brought to focus at a point in front of the retina. So, the parallel rays of light or the rays of light coming from a distant object do not converge on the retina but are instead brought to focus in front of the retina. Now, this essentially means that the rays of light are actually being bent more than what is necessary. Or to put it in other words, this eyeball has power more than it needs. So, the rays of light are bent more than necessary and they are brought to focus at a point in front of the retina. So the treatment of simple myopia would be to give a lens so that the eye power can be decreased. So the treatment is to decrease the power by giving minus lenses or concave lenses. So minus lenses or concave lenses are the treatment for myopia. So, the prescription for a simple myopia would look something like this. Like for example, a minus 1 diopter sphere or a minus 2 diopter sphere or a minus 3 diopter sphere and so on. So, a minus sphere or a concave sphere is the treatment or the glass prescription for a simple myopia. Let us now proceed to see what is simple hypermetropia. Now, in simple hypermetropia, the parallel rays of light or rays of light coming from a distant object after refraction through the ocular media are brought to focus at a point behind the retina in the absence of accommodation. So, parallel rays of light fail to converge on the retina in the absence of accommodation as a result of which the patient does not experience clear vision. So here if you look at the bending of the light rays, you can make out that the bending of the light rays is less than what the eyeball needs and hence the rays of light instead of converging on the retina are converging behind the retina. So, to simplify it and put it in another words, we could say that this eyeball has less power than it needs. So, in order to enable these light rays to converge on the retina, we have to bend the rays more or we have to increase the power. So, the treatment of hypermetropia would be to increase the power by giving plus lenses or convex lenses. Thus, the prescription for a simple hypermetropia would look something like this. 
that is a convex sphere like plus one diopter sphere, plus two diopter sphere, plus three diopter sphere and so on. So this is about simple myopia and simple hypermetropia. The third type of refractive error is known as astigmatism. Astigmatism. Astigmatism means that there is a significant difference in the refractive power of the two meridians or axis of the eye. This mainly arises because the cornea, which is the most important refractive medium of the eye, is not a perfect sphere. Now, when there is a perfect sphere, the vertical and the horizontal curvatures are equal. So, there is no difference in the refractive power between the two meridians. But if it is not a perfect sphere, then the vertical and the horizontal curvatures are not equal. Like for example, in this picture, you can see that the vertical curvature is more than the horizontal curvature. Likewise, in the second picture, the horizontal curvature is more than the vertical curvature. So, in this kind of a situation, the refractive power of the two meridians or axis of the eye is not the same. As a result, the rays refracted on the vertical and the horizontal meridian do not converge to a single point. And this results in a blurring of vision. So, let us now proceed to see what are the different types of astigmatism. Let us first look at what is simple myopic astigmatism. Now, simple myopic astigmatism essentially means that out of the two axes, which for the sake of simplicity we will consider as vertical and horizontal, out of these two axes, one axis is emetropic and the other axis is myopic. Meaning, on one axis, the rays of light meet on the retina. Whereas on the other axis, the rays of light meet in front of the retina. So if we look at parallel rays of light or rays of light coming from a distant object, on one axis, these rays are meeting on the retina. Whereas on the other axis, the rays meet in front of the retina. So one axis is emetropic and the other axis is myopic. So for this kind of a condition, the treatment is to correct the axis which is myopic. So concave lens has to be prescribed only in the axis which is myopic. So this kind of a lens which has power only in one axis is called as a cylindrical lens. So the glass prescription for a simple myopic astigmatism is a myopic cylindrical lens and the prescription looks something like this. Say for example minus 3 cylinder but we also have to specify in the prescription as to in which axis this cylinder has to be given. So for a simple myopic astigmatism, the prescription may look something like this. Like for example, minus 3 cylinder at 180 degree or minus 1 cylinder at 90 degrees. So this prescription contains only a myopic cylinder at a particular axis. On the same lines, let us discuss simple hypermetropic astigmatism. So, this means that one axis is emetropic and the other axis is hypermetropic, meaning the rays of light in one meridian, the parallel rays of light after passing through the refractive media, in one meridian they meet on the retina, whereas in the other meridian they meet behind the retina. So, for this, the prescription would be to correct the axis which is hypermetropic. So, the prescription would be a plus or a convex cylinder. Like for example, plus 3 cylinder at say 90 degrees or plus 2 cylinder at 180 degrees. So, a convex cylindrical lens at a particular axis 
is the prescription for simple hypermetropic astigmatism. So till now we have talked about simple spherical errors like simple myopia and simple hypermetropia and we have talked about simple astigmatic errors like simple myopic astigmatism and simple hypermetropic astigmatism. Now we will proceed to talk about compound refractive errors. Now what do we mean by compound refractive errors? Compound refractive errors means a combination of a spherical refractive error like myopia or hypermetropia with astigmatism. This is of two types. A compound myopic astigmatism and a compound hypermetropic astigmatism. Now, compound hypermetropic astigmatism means combination of hypermetropia with hypermetropic astigmatism. Likewise, compound myopic astigmatism means combination of simple myopia with a myopic astigmatism. Now, let me elaborate this further. Let us look at compound myopic astigmatism. Now, this means that both the axes are myopic, but one axis is more myopic than the other. Or to put it in other words, there is an overall myopia, but one axis is more myopic than the other. So, if I have to depict it in this diagram, it would look something like this. So, parallel rays of light or rays of light coming from a distant object, in both axes, they meet in front of the retina. But one axis is more myopic than the other. So if I have to number this as 1 and 2, then here 2 is more myopic than 1. 2 is more myopic than 1. So both the axes here are myopic, but 2 is more myopic than 1. That is one axis is more myopic than the other. So now how do you prescribe glasses for this condition? As we can understand, there is an overall myopia. So you will have a minus sphere to correct the overall myopia. But at the same time, you have one axis which is more myopic than the other. So to correct that axis, you must have a myopic cylinder. So a concave sphere along with a concave cylinder in a particular axis is the prescription for a compound myopic astigmatism. So it will look something like this. Say for example, a concave sphere which corrects the overall myopia coupled with a concave cylinder at the required axis. So something like this is the prescription of compound myopic astigmatism. Like minus 2 diopter sphere with a minus 1 cylinder at 180 degree. Or it may be something like this. Minus 2 diopter sphere with minus 1 cylinder at 90 degree. So a combination of a minus sphere and a minus cylinder. This is compound myopic astigmatism. On the same lines, let me explain to you compound hypermetropic astigmatism. So this, as you can understand, means that both the axes are hypermetropic, but one axis is more hypermetropic than the other. So parallel rays of light coming from a distant object, in both the axes, they meet behind the retina. But one axis is more hypermetropic than the other. So if I name the axis as 1 and 2 here, you can make out that 2 is more hypermetropic than 1. So here there is an overall hypermetropia and one axis is more hypermetropic than the other. So the prescription will contain a convex sphere to correct the overall hypermetropia and it will contain an additional convex cylinder on the required axis. So the prescription will look something like this. Plus 2 diopter sphere coupled with a plus cylinder at the required axis. Say for example, plus 2 diopter sphere plus 1 cylinder at 180 degree. Or it may look something like this, plus 2 diopter sphere plus 1 cylinder at 90 degrees. 
So a plus sphere with plus cylinder at the required axis is the prescription for compound bio compound hypermetallic acid. So these are the compound refractive errors where a spherical error like myopia or hypermetropia is coupled with astigmatism. The last under the series of refractive errors is called as mixed astigmatism. Now mixed astigmatism means that one axis is myopic whereas the other axis is hypermetropic. So, if I depict this in this picture, say parallel rays of light or rays of light coming from a distant object, after passing through the ocular refractive media, the rays of light in one meridian converge in front of the retina and in the other meridian they converge behind the retina. So, once again, if I were to name the axis as 1 and 2, axis 1 is myopic whereas axis 2 is hypermetropic. So one axis is myopic and the other is hypermetropic. So here axis 1 is myopic and axis 2 is hypermetropic. So for a mixed astigmatism, the prescription is a combination of a minus sphere with a plus cylinder or a plus sphere with a minus cylinder. So it may look something like this. Say for example, minus 2 sphere with say a plus 3 cylinder at 180 degree. So see, this is a combination of a minus sphere with a plus cylinder or it may be the opposite. Say for example, plus 2 diopter sphere with a minus 3 cylinder at 180 degrees. So this is a combination of a plus sphere with a minus cylinder. So in this video, I have just gone through the basics of the refractive errors and how the glass prescriptions for each of these refractive errors look like. In the coming videos, I shall be discussing a little more about astigmatism and about glass prescriptions. So you can find me on my Facebook page, on Instagram, on my Telegram group and for daily MCQ practice, you can join my Facebook groups. Thank you very much.